Hello everyone and Merry Merry Christmas and a blessed and happy new year. This is Beverly Black and I am here. I'm a part of a collaboration with Team Bill Geo and it's six of us who will be doing a holiday dessert tonight for you to watch and get ideas for what you may want to fix for the holidays and better yet fix the meals or the recipes that we have prepared tonight will be so awesome but i want to give you the lineup for everyone who will be coming um i'm beverly black and i'm at seven o'clock advertising junction junction which is the boss life online also and she will be on at 7 15 and geo is the one we are collaborating with to do this holiday these holiday meals okay at 7 30 we have a be amazing sylvia at 7 45 we have pals allen kitchen lifestyle at 8 o'clock, we have Tina Bibbs TV. And at 8.15, the grand finale, carrying it out for us, is Pandy's Hair, Candy, and More. I hope you enjoy this collaboration of these beautiful content creators who have come together, who are cooking and wanting to bless you with their with the, the recipe that they had come up with. I'm tongue-tied tonight. But anyway, just stay around. Watch all six of us. They won't be long, and I know that you will enjoy. And the recipe that I am fixing today, which will be beautiful on your holiday dessert table, is a millionaire pie. So hang on around so you can learn how to make it. The ingredients for this millionaire pie is I'm using a small can of pineapple chunks or you can use the tidbits. The tidbits are better because I cut the chunks, I cut them in half. And these are eight ounce cans or you can use the, what is the 15 or 16 ounce can of the crushed pineapples just like that if you want to use those. But I'm using an eight ounce can of uh, the crushed pineapples. Also, I am using a ready-made graham cracker crust. You can make your own, but I'm using ready-made. You will need eight ounces of uh, cream cheese at room temperature. You will need a can of condensed milk, whipped topping, three tablespoons of lemon juice, a jar of cherries and you need to open them up drain them and cut them in halves and here are the pineapples i have drained them also and i got them drying off to get all the juices that you can out because your juices too many juices in the pie will make your pie a little mushy so we're going to get all the juices out that we can Sorry, I can't remember if I told you to put in a can of condensed sweet milk. So we're going to pour that right here in the, in the bowl. Get it all out. And we're going to put the cream cheese your Philadelphia cream cheese that you have at room temperature. I'm going to add that to this bowl and mix it. I guess I need a pair of scissors. This is very soft. Okay. It 
Is everyone ready for Christmas? Have you done all of your shopping? Is there more shopping to do? I still have a couple of more to pick up and I'll be done. Now, we're going to mix these together until it is creamy. Wipe down the sides. Plus I have some hanging right on here. Okay. Okay, we're going to add the three tablespoons of lemon juice. One, two, and three. And we're gonna mix this together. to add half of the whipped cream. This is an eight ounce container. Also add um, a cup of nuts. I cannot add nuts because uh, I have two people in my household that has nut allergies, so they can't eat the nuts. So now I am going to put in the cherries and the pineapple. I'm trying to get all this little goodness right here. And you just fold them in. Oh, ooh, I tasted that. It's so good. Okay. Here are the cherries. And be careful not to try to see just a small jar of cherries. Now we're going to um, add the pineapples. I had them draining on the paper towel. Let's fold these in. And on the top, we're going to use the, the remainder of the Cool Whip on top of the pie. And that's when you would um, garnish it with some more uh, nuts if you wanted to. I can't put nuts on there. I think I'll put some cherries after it cools. But once we get it all together, it has to chill in your refrigerator for four hours or either overnight. Four hours or overnight. You see how you, you see the cherries? In, this makes a beautiful uh, holiday dessert. Okay. Now, I'm going to get the pie shell, and we're going to fold this right in. And I'm going to let it sit in the refrigerator for four hours, and then I will be back and, let, and slice a piece. Let's 
Move this mixer out of the way. Wow. Can you see that? I think I'll just eat the rest of it. It's left in there. Oh. But can you see after this chills? Look at that. Okay. And we're going to put the remainder. I'm going to spread. I really don't even want to put it on there because it's so pretty. Since I can't put any nuts on top of here, I'm going to put some cherries. Just a little something to give it some color up here. And I am going to let this go in the refrigerator for four hours. And after it chill where I can cut it, I will be back. <laughs> 